Hello everybody, welcome back to the Street Fighter 1 Credit Quest. This time we're going to play, be playing as Geki the Ninja. And I'm about to lose my voice, just just, just for your uh, just for sake of clarification, I am about to lose my goddamn voice. So, if I end up sort of sounding like a horse mule, then that's my fault. Anyway, uh, Geki is a ninja. You probably already assumed that already. Uh, he also has a claw, which technically makes him the... Um, Spiritual, uh, which makes Vega his spiritual successor. But in actual uh, uh, terms, Geki does matter to the Street Fighter canon because. What the fuck? How do I warp forward? Okay. Uh, lights teleport behind. Okay. There you go. So lights teleport. Uh, ah, 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 ah. Yeah, that's the one thing I like about Geki. His laugh is fucking insanely high. Okay, so he has an air shuriken along with a ground shuriken. He has this uh, stabby attack, which I guess if you're close enough, can be a grab. Or is that the well then? So that just means... Oh, okay, so Geki does have a grab. Okay, so he has that. I mean, you can try with the other characters. It won't work. There you go. Ah, 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 ah. You should probably head home now. You don't look so good. Ha, ha, ha. Or you really don't look so good. So there you go. Uh... If it's any matter to you, uh, Geki is Ibuki's grandfather? Either that or they're just in the same clan. So, Geki has some relation to Ibuki. So if you like Ibuki, like my friend, uh, Chris, then, uh, you might be right at home with Geki. There you go. Anyway, the supers. Um, he does a rush of shurikens, uh, which is double quarter circle punch, which you can do in the ground and in the air. So, if you, he's one of the few characters in this game with an aerial super. Um, honestly, I know I said Kent. I think Geki might be my third character. Like. Like, you know how in KOF 94, I was like, you know, I have top three. Well, for me, top three would be Sagat, Ken, and maybe Geki. I think Geki's getting up there. I mean, I don't want to jump to conclusions just because I'm playing him well. But, I mean, it's entirely possible. Uh, and then the next super he has is... Um, I think all he has is the shuriken super, actually. They just put both slots in the ground version and the air version. Alright, whatever. Can't really see a difference in the trajectory of the light and heavy air fireball. You got a lot to learn before you beat me. Try again, Kido. <laughs> That quote is gonna be with me until I die. Just letting you know. Staff, 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 staff. Yeah, Andy has the uh, Vega esque slide kick. I mean, I guess because people compared him to Vega, I can't really see a difference in the trajectory. I see a difference, so I guess it's literally just tensor strength. Literally just how hard it hits. Wah! Ah, 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 ah. How heck are you crazy? This is why you showed up in uh, no games after this. The problem was he was just too generic. I mean, the thing is, is that, like, I don't know, honestly, we need, um, much like we need John Crawley versus Guile, because that's a matchup that needs to happen. 
I think honestly we need uh, Geki versus Eiji. The battle of the forgotten ninjas that look vaguely like Strider here. You. Is that too much to ask? Could be. These are two characters that neither company cares about anymore. I mean, SNK kinda cared about AD for a little bit. You still wanna fight? Not today. I have another fight. Sayonara. Oh my. Wow, SF1 colors. The, the palette in Street Fighter 1 was bad. Why, in a game when you have characters with fucking. that are so super racist and super fucking. Uh, doing super cartoony attacks, would they want a realistic art style? What the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. It's like, look at this character with a very. not very realistic art style. or design. design choice. Let's draw him to, let's, let's sprite that, let's get, let's make the palette super realistic. Doesn't make any sense. That's how you can just fuck with the AI. <laughs> or probably a human being, even, is to just fuck around with the teleporting. I mean, considering it's so easy to do. Oh, I should have gotten a drink of water. That's what I should have done. I should have gotten a drink of water. Because my voice sounds hor- it, it sounds like I have a horse jammed up my gosh dang throat. Oh, wow, I killed him. Good. There you go. You've got a lot to learn, and you've got a lot to learn before you beat me. That I can't get. Does he have a kick special by chance? No, he doesn't. I don't want the goddamn Lee mistake to happen again. What the fuck? I'm already dying. What the fuck, Birdie? Calm down. Birdie, you need to calm down. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I elect you guys. If you don't want to do it, I'll do it myself. Uh, let's see if we want to get some stats going for these series. Uh, like, how many times I've died, uh, whether or not I've gotten, like, perfect games where, like, I've never lost a round, you know? Something to that effect. What the fuck? Also, I like it the air shuriken because it lets you stand there and just be a dick. So, it's like someone's like, fucking Shinku Hadouken, you could do this. And then you would dodge the Shinku Hadouken. Mwah, ah, 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 ah. There you go. I think I said all Geki's lines already. Fine! Hi! Hi! Woo! <laughs> there you go. There. Yeah. Oh my god, bruh. That's a 
an ant here. That is an ant here. I didn't think Gekki had an ant here, but I think that's it. Just air fireballs in general, they counter air attacks. I mean, I understand that's just to give Gekki some variety, but I mean, he has an air fireball, um, a teleport, like, is he just meant to be, like, this game's equivalent to Akuma? I mean, evil laugh and everything. I mean, we saw Akuma earlier, but... That doesn't explain much. <laughs> Another Geki. See, look how dorky this costume is. Like, why would you want this color? The, the, the fucking contrast with this background? No, the original was meant to contrast with the background. This, this color doesn't even, it just blends in. I mean, I guess that's what you should be aiming for as a ninja, but even then, goddamn, is it still a weird color. I mean, especially because you go out in public anyway. Or, I mean, not really, considering there's no spectators for this tournament whatsoever. I mean, the grand irony behind this is that it's like a fucking public tournament, yet nobody's watching it. Nobody is watching these people beat each other into bloody pulps. Wow, he just wanted to stab me to hell in that. Good thing I don't really care about you, Mirror Gecky. Grab, grab. You have to get really close in in order to get the grab, it's weird. Okay, now I can just start doing work by literally hitting two buttons. This attack breaks the computer. Noted, the slide kick hits the computer like 95% of the time. Mike! Mike! I'm gonna play him next episode. No, 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 no. Actually, I'm not gonna play him next episode. I'm gonna play Gen in the next episode. But the next. Oh no! Actually, I have four characters. Well, actually, no. Yeah, because I'm gonna do that one capture session, and then. Huh. Wow. You know what? That one-off might have to be a thing. God damn it. Fuck. Oh, but that would actually segue really decently into the, uh, next other series I'll do. Okay, you know what? Fine. Whatever. I think I've got a plan for what is coming for this series. I got a plan for what's coming. Maybe. Round two, five. Buck, fuck. Wow, that comboed? Really? Standing hard punch into a uh, crouching strong kick. Okay. Ryu. I think I might have found what breaks the computer. This doesn't break human beings, but it breaks computers. At least to a degree. I got a perfect. I mean, that's how you know the developer was like, you know what, let's just keep some elements the same from the original. Because in the original, they don't acknowledge perfects. In the original, it's like, you got a perfect? Okay. I mean, you won. 
you won the match against the enemy. But still, you know, it doesn't really mean much. I mean, if you could get a perfect in the original game, then god damn, you got balls of steel. There you go. Retsu. There you go. I don't remember if I fought in Ken already. And then I fought Retsu and Geki. I did fight Lee and Gen. Yeah, I fought Lee and Gen. I don't know if I fought Joe yet. And then I have fought Mike and then Birdie and Eagle. So I may have one or two matches after Retsu before getting to the bosses. Wah! Like, getting, recording the series, it goes by faster and faster and faster. You know what I realized? The hit sparks in this game are not from the original, because the original were like these weird, w wacky, uh, comic book hit sparks. Whereas this game is more like, um, I think it lifts them from Street Fighter Alpha. Males just do the ground version. You're fucking, you're more likely to hit somebody. <laughs> Never mind, I did beat Joe and Ken. Okay. Cody's alternate is black pants and uh, wrist guards. Literally, that's all they changed. Oh. Light throws them from a crouching position? Huh. Interesting. So you can make your own interesting uh, projectile pattern for somebody trying to beat. There you go. But that moon is huge. Cody, where are you from? Oh, right, Metro City. Never mind. I, I, I totally forgot. I am beating up Mr. Cody Travers with a bunch of ninja stars. Love me. <laughs> All right, Aeon. Let's have some fun. Or at least try. Okay. Blah. Ah, 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 ah. All right. So basically, a light punch will, uh, warps you behind the opponent, but close to them. A light kick goes behind the opponent and far from them. Heavy punch doesn't warp. Uh, warps you like barely any backwards. Or. I guess it's just random, or can you select? Okay, barely any backward, uh, slightly backwards, and then heavy kick teleport is very far back. Oh. There you go, alright, so I got... I'm gonna show you what being a ninja is like. Because I feel like it. Hooray, I'm a ninja. He's a ninja. Chinese ninja warrior. He's so cold. Sub-Zero. <laughs> I didn't know that was actually a real song, and then I listened to it, and yeah, 
that was a real song they made a album about Mortal Kombat like they made Mortal Kombat into just about goddamn anything oh man if he was like slightly above it hold on I want to find the perfect arc to where all of those goddamn stars hit Somebody, if he wasn't moving like a fucking asshole. Oh wow, his taunt is broken. You can't gain meter off of it, really? Huh. That's interesting. Maybe that's the kind of thing you gotta sacrifice for some more tech. There. There we go, we beat the game with Geki. Well done. You've earned the respect of your clan. Your victory in the tournament has proven to us that you are worthy, indeed worthy of the title of clan master. That is correct. We want you to join us as a leader of the most feared clan in all of Japan. It is uh, obvious that you are not weak like your brother. His abilities were not nearly as impressive as yours are. Hmm. Ha 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 ha. He failed to complete the task we had given him, and you know how we de deal with failure. He knew the consequences, but he still pleaded that we let him live. It was truly a pathetic scene. What? He had lacked the true ninja spirit, and when fa in the face of death, he had shown himself to be a coward. Enough of the, about that fool. Geki, do you accept our offer to become a master? Yes, what do you say, Geki? Before I give my answer, I wish to honor you, my masters. Hmm, very well then. With Geki as the fifth clan member, we shall spread our control all over Japan, dividing each sector equally. Ha 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 ha! Geki never intended to become a clan master. He only desired to avenge his brother's death. When you get a chance, can you take that in route going in? Just Having done so now, Geki questions his actions as well as his fate. The clan masters are dead. I took their lives for the honor of my brother. Was it wrong what I've done? No, their hearts were full of hate and greed. They deserved that fate. But what of my fate? What of my destiny? I have no desire to lead this clan in its evil ways, but... What is to prevent another from taking up where the four masters left off? I cannot allow that to happen. I will assume, assume the role of master, but only to do good and put an end to evil wherever, may, wherever it may exist. The clan shall be a plague on this country no more. By this I swear. Okay, so he wants to be a good guy. Alright, cool. And then he pumped out a baby. <laughs> I mean, I can look it up. I mean, I mean let's see. Ibuki. Let's see. Huh, it's not like they, uh, they don't really mention it often. Possible that Geki was the one that trained, or at least very at least inspired Vega. Okay, duh. Additionally, Geki's concept seems to have been get passed down to Vega and Ibuki, which is likely the really blah 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 blah. Wow, they wanted to stuff him inside the movie and make him female. Oh, so they literally wanted to make a movie. They wanted to make him Ibuki. Huh. All right. Alright, and then there's, uh... 
And then Akuma disguises himself as a ninja. Okay, all right, whatever. There you go, that's added. Video time! Woohoo! So there you go, never mind, they're not officially related. Huh. Well, that's odd. Anyway, with that, uh, on the next episode of Street Fighter 1, uh, we will be playing as Gen! And I'll have to do practice mode with him because I have no idea how to play Gen. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> there you go. But anyway, I will see you all next time.